Well, after four years of using Neovim every single day, I'm switching to VS Code. Those are words I never thought I would say. Yo, what's up? I'm Melky, and I'm a software engineer at Twitch. I'm gonna be talking about how I'm switching away from the editor I've used every single day for four years, the one that I literally used to learn how to code to a completely different one. I'm gonna give you my explanation, the reasons, and the why I'm switching all in this video, but let me know what editor you use in the comment section below. So like I said, I've been using Neovim ever since I started programming. This was back in 2019 and a lot has changed since then. Basically, I got into using Neovim because at the same time I was streaming and building my audience on Twitch and I kept getting rated by some dude named the Primogen who had a hundred times more viewers than I did. And every time I get bombarded by Prime in his chat, they would spam me saying, learn Vim, learn Vorak, learn Vim, learn Vorak. And so as a meme, I learned it. I booted up some tutorials and there I was, learning Vim motions, HJKL, yanking, pasting, buffers, registers, all that good stuff. Cause I wanted to keep getting rated. But I never would have guessed that that one meme would end up being the most important tool I would have in learning things like lead code, building my portfolio, building side projects, and even interviewing at my current job at Twitch. And for those of you who are thinking, yes, I use Newvim at work when I launch production ready services or features. It was cool, it was fast, it was lightweight, it was so customizable, it was fun to use, all my cool old friends were using it, I was cool for using it, it, pff, it was awesome. The community was phenomenal. The number of plugins you can explore and dive into and choose to use or not use and then make your entire editor from scratch the way you want it, unique to you and share it with the world or even take the world and use it for you or switch and change, it was the best. And absolutely nothing, and I mean nothing, beats sharing your screen at work and seeing all of the reactions when they see you bust out that NeoVim Whew, not even sex.js is better than that. So then why? Why am I switching to VS Code, the dark side? Well, the actual catalyst or the straw that broke the camel's back, oh camel, was actually a blog that I saw from Twitter. You see, the homie Nexel released an incredible well-written blog on exactly this topic of how he is also switching from NeoVim to VS Code it's an incredible blog post, link is in the description below, go check it out. But it got me thinking, even though using NeoVim was a blast, behind the scenes there were trouble in paradise. One of the main attractions of NeoVim can also be seen as one of its drawbacks. The configuration can be tiring, it can be time consuming and although you're not tinkering with it every single day, you are going to spend time whenever you want to introduce a new plugin or update an existing plugin or migrate to a new plugin, all of that's gonna take time to configure and update your IDE and your NeoVim configuration. Sometimes even setting up a simple plugin requires you to dive deep into that plugin's documentation, parse their GitHub repo for all existing issues, see if you have any overlapping key mappings, key bindings, and it just takes a while to figure out how to configure it. And then there's the plugins. And like I said, there's so many plugins and it's cool, but sometimes it's nice to have a standard across the entire ecosystem. And yes, those plugins exist, but a lot of the time they get deprecated. They get updated for the new and better. One thing that has always scared me with new of them is updating the major or minor version because you never know which one of your existing plugins introduced a breaking change since you've last updated it or if they've even updated to match the newest version of NeoVim. And personally, I don't like spending time fixing my editor. I just want to use it. I had to always rely on help from someone else. I had to ping someone on Discord or go to Reddit or go to GitHub and find out how to solve an issue. And at first it's exciting, sure, but sometimes Man, you just want something to work because you have a project that you want to work on more than the editor. And so I really like how Nexel put it in his blog where he said the Neovim plugins are very similar to the JavaScript ecosystem where there's always something new and shiny and exciting that everyone just seems to be jumping on right away. The plugin system in Neovim 
is always changing constantly. And if you're not up to date with it, you're going to fall behind fast. NeoVim is great. I love it. I will always love it. I actually still use it for editing quick files, getting in there, getting out, doing something quick. But moving forward for building my projects, I think I'm going to stick with VS Code. Not because there's anything innately bad about NeoVim, but because it's just not for me. And I'm kind of going against the grain on this. You see, from Stack Overflow Developer Survey 2022 to 2023, NeoVim adoption has almost doubled in one year, which is massive. I don't like spending my time configuring stuff. I don't like spending so much time fixing an editor or debugging it or doing anything like that. I just want to use it. I went two years without opening VS Code. I opened it on my stream last weekend and within 15 minutes, I was already jumping between files almost as fast as I was with NeoVim. And I just want to make one thing clear. Even on VS Code, I am still using Vim Motions. Those are kind of separate than any kind of NeoVim or Vim based editor because they're great. Vim Motions are key and I highly recommend everybody to use them. They'll help you navigate through your project better. It's mouseless development and overall is just a great experience. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. And as always, comment, like, and subscribe because this is going to be some challenging times for me ahead because I think I have just lost some great friends. I'm just kidding. I hope. But I got to leave you guys with two things. One, just use the editor that you want. Who gives a shit? And two, you got to power it.